Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GamerTube, and welcome to a brand new chapter in our Five Nights at Freddy's character concept series. So in this chapter, we'll be looking at the North Pole Pizzeria, and more specifically, we'll be looking into the character of Patrick the Polar Bear. So we'll go into their backstory, location, gameplay mechanics, and all that good stuff as well. As always, I will just say that everything I say in these videos isn't necessarily linked to the overall lore and universe of FNAF. This is just a fun, creepy story we get to tell, and we hope you enjoy. And lastly, before we start today's video, do be sure to subscribe to GameTube as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. Alrighty, well, let's get into the character concept of Patrick the Polar Bear. So before we get into our character concept, let's first take a look at the other themed pizzerias in the series. So in our previous videos, we've explored the Jungle Party Pizzeria, the Funtime Farm Pizzeria, the Water Wonderland Pizzeria, the Insect Kingdom Pizzeria, and the Jolly Jurassic Pizzeria. Each of these establishments have had a number of creepy animatronics that were hellbent on terrorizing the player. The player would survive through the nights the best they could, fending each and every character off in their own specific way. All of these frightening animatronics had their own disturbing backstories and reasons for attacking the player. But now across the country, in a new state, stood another branch in the Freddy Fazbear Pizzeria family. This was of course, the North Pole Pizzeria. This was a frozen Arctic themed children's entertainment restaurant. Like most Freddy Fazbear establishments, they had a number of fun attractions and areas that would fit the theme. But we'll get into those as we progress through the videos. But apart from the party area, seating and dining area, there was the North Pole main stage. This is where the animatronics would perform all their jolly birthday songs for all the guests. Speaking of animatronics, let's meet our first frosty character. So the first character we're introducing is Patrick the Polar Bear. Patrick was of course modelled after the large ice dwelling animal, the Polar Bear. The engineers opted for a bright grey colour scheme. As long as the pizzeria could remember, there's always been a pink smudgy stain right below Patrick's jaw. None of the workers knew what it was. The managers would always say some kid spilled grape juice all over his fur, and it was impossible to get the colour out. Whatever it was, it sure did stain them pretty good. Patrick was also given a little outfit. They would wear a light purple vest and a black bowler hat. Patrick's appearance was quite similar to another famous bear at Fazbear Entertainment. Given that Patrick was a similar animal, the engineers took a lot of inspiration from the big old brown bear himself. So Patrick's role up on stage was that of the main singer. Patrick would perform up on stage with all the other members whilst they played their jolly birthday tunes. Patrick was very popular amongst all the guests. They were also the main character of the pizzeria. Patrick would be displayed on all the promotional material and restaurant menus. So apart from the main stage, there was also another area that Patrick would occupy. And this area was the Arctic Cool Room. This was a special room at the pizzeria that was set at the exact temperature of the North Pole. The temperature was set in real time to the actual North Pole, down to the very last degree. When any guests entered this room, they were required to wear a special thermal jacket. The Arctic room was mainly targeted at education and teaching the children about the Arctic. All the guests thought it was fun to experience the exact temperature and to know how cold it actually was. Amongst all the guests, there was also a little game they all played. The guests would touch the coldest parts of the walls and see how long they could leave their hands there for. The highest record was 4 minutes and 15 seconds. So whilst inside the Arctic Cool Room, Patrick would give a tour and recite facts about the Arctic and the North Pole. The Cool Room was considered to be a success amongst all the guests. And Patrick himself was the North Pole Pizzeria's greatest success. Patrick proved to be a charming and lovable character. At least that was the truth until the incident happened. But before we explore that tragic event, let's first take a look at our main protagonist. So at the North Pole Pizzeria, the player does not take the role of the Night Guard. They instead play as a character known as the Employee. 
So for some strange reason, the official night guard has gone missing. None of the other workers know exactly where they went. Some say they quit, others say they just disappeared. But regardless of what happened to them, the pizzeria needed a new night guard. The manager has hired a new replacement, but they won't be starting until next week. So unfortunately, the employee was picked to keep watch just for a week until they arrived. The employee was inexperienced and quite anxious about the job change. But then again, it was only for a week. What was the worst that could happen? They reluctantly accepted and took on the role as temporary night guard. So before the employee started their new role, they wanted to know more about these disturbing looking animatronics. Each of these characters has had a strange incident linked with them in one way or another. All of which happened before the employee took on this new role. They dug up whatever information they could find about the pizzeria's main character, Patrick. It turns out that Patrick was involved in something called the Stowaway Incident. So on one unfortunate night when the pizzeria closed for the day, there was a child that hid away and waited until the pizzeria was closed. Who knows why they did it? Maybe they wanted the pizzeria all to themselves. They could play all the games they wanted and eat as much candy as they could. Or maybe the poor child was bullied into hiding by some other children. Regardless, there was an unattended child inside the locked up pizzeria. And the North Pole Pizzeria had to be the most unsafe place for a child to be stuck. As we all know, the animatronics are left in their free roam mode of a night time. This ensures all their joints and servos don't seize up. So whilst the others walked around, Patrick was up on stage. Patrick didn't tend to move around a lot. He was happy just to stand around on the main stage. But this night of all nights was the worst place they could stand. So the troublesome stowaway child got into the prize counter and was playing around with some of the rubber bouncy balls. They were bouncing them as high as they could. This was all fun and games until one of the bouncy balls landed directly inside Patrick's mouth. The stowaway child was so excited that they made this one in a million shot. They were so proud of themselves that they needed to retrieve this bouncy ball. So they stacked up a few boxes and attempted to reach inside of Patrick's mouth. They crawled inside and tried to find the bouncy ball. They practically had half of their body inside of Patrick's mouth. But little did the poor stowaway child know, the mechanisms inside of Patrick's jaw were quite troublesome. There were rumours that Patrick's jaw has malfunctioned before. Apparently a repair worker got their hand stuck inside of his clamped mouth. And apparently that was the reason for the faded stain under Pat's jaw. But management would never admit if that was ever the truth. As the child dug deeper, they almost got it. But their hand had touched a very sensitive mechanism and before they knew it... This tragic incident went unnoticed by the night guard. They were too busy sleeping to notice what had happened. This is probably why they were allegedly fired. The rest of the documents didn't go into further detail on what had happened next. All that was stated was the child was in a stable condition. And the Patrick Polar Bear animatronic would be evaluated and put in for review. The employee never knew about this incident. But that explains why Patrick looks the way they do now. These days, Patrick looked quite worse for wear. Their body was withered and damaged, and they now had a stain that could not be removed. The employee dreaded the fact that they now had to spend a whole week alone at night with Patrick and the other characters. But as long as they stayed in the office, they would be fine. So one of the other roles that the employee had taken on was light maintenance of the animatronics. This included cleaning and maintaining the outer appearance of the characters. So before their shift, they needed to clean up Patrick and try and remove that tricky stain. The stowaway incident happened when the disappeared night guard was still working. This stain has been there for quite a while. And in recent weeks, Patrick has lost an ear and had his hat ripped off. But regardless, they were told to clean him up, so that's what they tried to do. After scrubbing his fur, it seemed that this stain was impossible to get out. 
The employee would need to remove Patrick's jaw in order to get the full stain. When they removed it, the strangest thing happened. A VHS tape fell out of their uncovered jaw. What on earth was this doing here? The employee wondered what was on it. They were sure there was an old VCR player somewhere in the pizzeria. They decided to pop in the tape and see what was on it. What on earth was going on in that tape? And who was filming it? Was it the night guard? Does Patrick have something to do with their disappearance? Regardless, the employee needs to get back to work cleaning Patrick's fur. When they return, Patrick is nowhere to be seen. Where has he gotten to? And more importantly, does he know they've watched the tape? The employee rushes over to the security office to start their first night shift. Whilst they do, Patrick waits in the shadows, ready to strike, ready to silence the truth from coming out. So now let's get into the gameplay segment of the video. As always, the gameplay mechanics are based on the classic FNAF formula of observation and management. The player needs to keep an eye out for Patrick and close the doors immediately as soon as they see him. So Patrick's starting position would always be on the main stage. They wouldn't normally be active until around 2 or 3 in the morning. When the player hears the faint sound of the happy birthday song, that's when they know Patrick is getting close. When the player closes the door on Patrick, sometimes he'll knock on the door. According to the number of knocks, the player would have to act accordingly. If they hear two knocks, that means turn on both hallway lights. If they hear three knocks, that means quickly open and close both doors. If they hear four knocks, it means to stay perfectly still. If the player doesn't follow along with the knocks, then Patrick won't leave until they do the task. There's also another version of Patrick that can appear. If no eyes Patrick appears at the door, then the player will just have to leave them alone. Actually closing the door on him will spring his jump scare as his vision is based on movement. The player wouldn't realise this until they first encountered him. It would be a rare occurrence, but creepy nonetheless. Throughout the night, Patrick's movements will become quicker and quicker. They need to keep up or else they'll get greeted with a classic FNAF jump scare. So I think Patrick is a great first addition to the North Pole Pizzeria. Their gameplay mechanics would definitely keep the player on their toes and can overwhelm them as well. 
Their creepy appearance and backstory also add to the overall fear and tension. Patrick would be a great introduction to the many other frightening characters we are sure to see in the future. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting and subscribing as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, let us know in the comments section down below what you thought of Patrick the Polar Bear and what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty everyone, well until the next video, I'll catch you later, bye.